is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Welcome to another Minute Microscopy. I'm Eric Rosenblatt, and today I will be briefly talking about the subject of open-mindedness. What does it mean to be open-minded? I'm sure everyone has their own opinion, and really mine's nothing different. To a lot of people, it probably means accepting things that some others do not. Perhaps you welcome a particular view or lifestyle that other people abhor. That sounds pretty open-minded, right? I'd argue that it's not. Such a mindset is really no different than any other belief system. After all, what critical factor differentiates your acceptance of such a thing from another's acceptance of something you detest? No, to be truly open-minded is to be willing to explore or entertain a viewpoint you may not currently accept without dismissing it outright. That doesn't mean you have to believe or embrace those ideas, merely that you're willing to examine another's point of view. In the pursuit of open-mindedness, it's only through such consideration that one should make a determination based on reason and not through some sort of bias or prejudice. It's a common error to make, but it's important to separate the person from their view as well. The genetic fallacy is a seductive one indeed. Hopefully, we can all learn to be inquisitive about the views of others, and the reasons behind those views. It's only through understanding that we'll eventually learn to get along, even if we disagree. 